Southside on Dash Radio. Dree Taylor here. We had to pull up. You know we stay in the streets. So we had to pull up on my boy Sunny Digital for his pop-up for Rolling Records. What's poppin'? What's going on? So why did you decide to do a pop-up shop, giving away a whole bunch of free merch for Rolling Records? Um, Because ain't nobody doing that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Ain't nobody like just giving away stuff. And uh, just to be honest, it don't cost that much to make. So it's, it's like it's like a night at the stroke club, though. But, you know, just giving back to the people that actually like really support you, though. You know? Right. Especially you know? the city that's giving so much to you. Yeah, exactly. Like it just and, and it helped, too. I'm doing something with the branding and stuff, though, too, like with the whole rolling and everything. So yeah. like I, I never been like I never like like wanted to charge people for anything, though, to be for real. Like cause I make enough money from the music just from y'all doing that, though. You yeah. know, so it's like. It's kind of like me giving back type thing, though, yeah. you know? So how long has Rolling Records been in the works? Because it seems like now you just really, really pushing it to yeah. the masses. All right, well, all right, so the backstory on it, though, is, all right, so I did my deal as an artist, though. So you remember I started, I, I was producing, then I started rapping. rapping right. And then from that rapping, I had got a deal. I got a deal with Atlantic, right. you know what I'm saying? But I ain't really, like, announced it and stuff like that. It was, like, it wasn't under wraps, but it just wasn't something I was just announcing. But within that deal, I had got a label deal, which was for Rolling Records and stuff. And so, um... So from there, you know, I had got some money to actually start putting stuff together and stuff. So um, that's kind of like what I was doing, what I started doing now, though. But really, Rolling Records been around, though. I just never, like, made it into what it is now, though, because I've been, like, doing what I'm doing now, like, which is producing artists, putting out artists, you know what I'm saying? Just just kind of like doing this, though. Like, yeah. I'm just doing it on a different scale now, though. This, this ain't nothing new to me, though. Divine like, timing. Like, timing is really everything for real. I guess, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm patient. That's really what it is, though. Yeah. You know, I can wait. I can wait a long time. You kind of reminded me of Kanye, how you just dipping into the producing and rapping and just the creative whole spell realm of things. Yeah. Is that like one of your influences? Of course. You know, I, I fuck with Kanye heavy, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like, I'm doing my own thing right now, though. You know, like, I fuck with him, though, from a fan aspect, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, me personally, I don't really fuck with nobody. I do my own thing. Really, everybody that be in my spots, they be all the homies and close people and people that fuck with me from them people. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, I don't really fuck with all the famous people, though. I just keep them where they at, though, and just, oh, they cool up there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, whether you realize it or not, your sound and your influence is really heard and felt in music and the culture of Atlanta. What, like, new producer? Because you kind of like getting to OG Go, okay, cool status. So, what new producers are you excited for? Um,. Dang, it's a lot of producers. Like, you know, I'm really for the producer community. So right. it's, it's like it's like a gang of them, though. So I, I don't want to no, say yeah. nothing. I feel like, like producers are like the new rappers now, kind of. On the slick, they can be, though, if they start branding themselves right, though. You right. know, like, like just like take their advice or whatever I'm telling them, though. But like, it's, it's, it's on that it's on that promising road, though. But like, it takes for people like us to kind of like, kind of like lead the way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, What's I think up? my favorite might be Jetson Made. I think. Oh yeah, I like Jetson. Jetson made another one. Hey, yeah. I, I fucks with him right now. I don't know if it's his tag or if it's his beats and stuff though. But it's probably shit. both. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. It's probably <laughs> both though. But I've been meaning to uh, to hit up Jetson though. But um, I know a lot of people probably hitting him up right now. So I'm not. I'm just kind of like falling back though. But he seems like he's pretty cool though. Like. Oh, yeah. He makes some hard ass beats too. Like I just be on some real like I, I keep it in I keep my place as a fan perspective though. Like right. you know, I fuck with a lot of people like Pyrex too, Pyrex. I feel like he about to pop um yeah. everybody. I even got everybody around me down there producing this stuff though. So like I could say anybody fucking winning. My boy. And Black I was Boat. just about to bring him up. Come right here yeah. right quick. Oh, okay, so when we getting Black Goat too? Oh, I don't man. know. Well, I don't know. When we getting why? Why, why because, don't we know? Because Black Goat won. Honestly, I appreciate you asking though, but Black Goat yeah. won. A lot of people slept on it though. That was a lot of they good music They really though. did though. Yeah. Like, like y'all like, had some bangers on there. I really it's appreciated it's the tape, and I really like y'all friendship and work for, like chemistry yeah. together. I it's think crazy. it's kind of dope. It's crazy. Like real talk, man. Black Gold was very slept on. Very slept on mixtape. Like even like some of the records we did was like super organic. Like yeah, like it's, I don't know, man. We ain't tripping though. I ain't yeah. tripping though. Like I, I always kind, I kind of already told them how this shit kind of go with me though. And you know that's why I feel like how I be feeling like when it comes to me as music. Like, like people be kind of sleeping on what I actually do and like how yeah. far niggas can really actually go. Well, you say that, but people can't really sleep too long because the work that you put in working with Future, Travis Scott, like just the names are just endless. Like you work with legends. Like I think you made your stamp. I don't think people can really sleep that much I long. Like my boy want to take it to another level though, man. He ain't trying to stay in that box, man. He yeah. wanna he wanna do his own thing. Like you said, Future and Travis Scott, they got their own thing going on. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah, fast. yeah. When yeah. I go when I go to their concerts, I go to anything they got though going on. It ain't about me, you know what I'm saying? That's why I gotta do events like this though, where I can make it about me and the people around me and stuff though. You know what well, I'm you saying? Well, you're gonna have time to make it around you because you're going on tour with KKM, right? 
Like K Camp. I'm doing a show with K Camp. Okay. The 31st? 31st, Sunday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sunday. Okay. We was planning the tour. That, that, that was crazy that you said that we planned that though. But I am doing a tour in May with Scotty ATL. Boom. Boom. Oh, did we just get some tea? Yeah, we just locked that in. Oh, that's yeah. dope. May, we starting the tour end of May, beginning of June. It's lit though, you know? All right, so. two more questions and I'm gonna let you go back to your party. How proud are you about Atlanta? What we've done? What, how we've just came in and been like, yeah, uh. Like in the words of Andre 3000, the South got something to say and we saying it. That's really you just summed it all up. Like I'm yeah, kind, yeah, yeah, like like shit, like like shit. We coming through, like for real, like it's crazy. Like looking at it, doing how long we've been having this, this fire ass, good ass, just amazing run, and just like just artist after artist. Even sometimes be like, damn, we we on the street right now. Like this shit kind of crazy. Like this shit kind of crazy. Then somebody just pop up, boom, pop up. And you go from? crazy. Atlanta. Atlanta. <laughs> right. Like, damn, man, another nigga from Atlanta, though. But, I mean, I, I fucks with it heavy, though. You know what I'm saying? I, I like it. Like, it's, it's just showing, like, that, like, a lot of the work that we was doing early on with, with the artists and with the producers is kind of, like, showing through now, though. Like, they, a lot of niggas, we inspire a lot of niggas to do what they doing, like, right now, which is they winning right now, like, doing their thing. Like, Justin and all of them, like, I know, I know he was inspired by one, one of us in the circle and stuff, though, but... Right. Now he doing this thing though, you know what I'm saying? Make some fire shit though, you know what I'm saying? Slappers, you hear me like going off. Slappers, for real. No, for real. Just made another one. That nigga be going crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I fucks with that nigga, man. No, yeah. So, okay, one last thing for you go. What can we expect from Rolling Records 2019 and beyond? Well, our, after this um, pop up, well, another thing, um, we're gonna do these pop ups every um, every last Friday of the month. Different In Atlanta? Levels. We may do it in Atlanta, we might switch it up though, but for the most part, I'm probably gonna start in Atlanta the next probably the next two or three probably gonna be in Atlanta. The next next other ones we we planning probably like out of state or something like that though. Okay, Just, man, that's but um it'll be kinda of something similar to this though where we kinda of giving out hey, shit man, though, like I said. And then um I'm doing a compilation album with all the artists on rolling. I got four artists on, on rolling, um Bori, Lalo, Flea, and um Lean. Then the okay. four artists on, on there. We're gonna do a compilation and me and Bo. We're gonna be on there too, and then me and Bo doing the project too on our own. Bo doing his own project, all the artists doing their own projects. Like, it's a lot of work going on, and I just got done building my studio too. Okay, I'm congrats! Sorry. I saw it on Twitter. It yeah. looks dope. Three rooms. Yeah, three rooms going on five. <laughs> oh, <laughs> correct me, please. Nah, facts though. We about to build two more rooms in there though. On the slick though, I'm giving you a lot of shit though. I ain't even tell the squad like that. All oh, that shit though. Well, I'm honored. Thank yeah. you. I'm not gonna hose you up, man. I just wanna let you know. Don't, even if you like the underdog, you feel underrated, please don't. Like, people see and feel your influence, and it's known, and it's appreciated, okay? Yeah, I appreciate no it. No problem. All right, Southside Dash Radio, Drew Taylor, Sunny Digital, we out of here. Already, for sure.